So the first thing you need to do is to go to your Google and you can come all the way to the search bar and just search for Clipchamp. Okay, so you will be taken here and you can see it all your video needs in one place. So this is Clipchamp. So what you need to do is to click on this and you'll be welcome to this very website or you can go on your own manually to clipchamp.com and it's going to bring you over here. All your video needs in one place. Use Clipchamp's video editor to create beautiful videos today. So like I said, Clipchamp is powered by Microsoft. It's a soft, it's a video editor that is powered by Microsoft and it's free of charge. You can see it's a try for free, but most of the things that you need at this moment, at this point, are free. You can have them, you have, can have access to them for free, except if you have the need to go further. If you want to use some extra things, then you may need to pay and upgrade to the premium version. But for now, the free version can do virtually all what you need and even beyond that. So to start with, you can just come over here and click on try for, for free. And we prompt here to this, you have two tabs. The first one is a sign in. If you already have an account with either, you can use your personal Microsoft account or you can use your email and password to register. If you have Google account also, you can create a login with your Google account. You can go ahead and create an account. If you don't have an account, you can just go ahead, create with your personal Microsoft account, or you can create with your, just your email and password, any kind of email, be it live, be it Yahoo, be it Gmail, or you can proceed with Gmail also. You can just log into your Gmail and you use this to access the platform. So over here, you have the option to change the language for non-English speaking countries. Okay, so for now, let's say I'm going to proceed to log in with my Google account. So I can just click on this and it's going to prompt me to select which of the Google accounts I'm, I'm trying to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to use my Epic Mentorship account and I'm just going to re uh, log in. So if you, you can use yours as well to just log in. So once you log in, you can see it's going to bring you into this very platform. So the first thing you need to see is at the top over here, you have a bunch of things. You can create a new video from scratch over here. You can create a video from scratch or you can record something. Recording could mean your screen, your camera, or both of them at the same time, or capturing something externally. You can do all that from here. And then you have the option to check out the templates. There are different kinds of templates. You can see a number of them from intros, outros. You can just easily customize and create your, your, your intros and outros. So Instagram posts and reels, social media posts, YouTube videos, gaming videos. You can create all that from here. And you can create, click on this to see all the templates or you can come over here to see all the templates as well. So you have the templates arranged according to intros. You can see multiple of them. As you hover over any of them, you will be able to see a preview of how and what it's going to look like. Okay, so you can see this one. You can see this is just a pre preview of the intro that it's going to look like. Later, I will show you in detail how to use it. Then you have Instagram posts and reels. You have YouTube posts, okay, YouTube videos. You can see you can just easily click and customize it to your liking. You have social media ads in cases when you want to run ads, gaming videos, you have events and holidays. You can just hover over and you have an idea into what kind of video you are bound to you're about to create. Okay. And you have text overlays. As you hover over any text, also, you'll be able to see the appearance, how it's going to appear in your video and what effect is going to produce on your video. And if you're okay with it, then you can use that as an overlay into your video. Now you have others as well. You can see TikTok videos. You can see the sample as you hover over. All you need is just to uh, carry your video and put it in the background. And then the text overlay and the graphics are going to be in your own video. So this is social media handles. If you want to add your handles, you can go ahead and do that. So you can uh, go ahead and check on all the templates if you want, but for now, you can come over here and add any folder. If you want to work on a particular folder, you can just click and you can create that folder. So let's say trial video editing two is our new folder. So all our media are going to go into this folder, for example. So you can create a video in this folder. You can only see these videos within this folder. Okay. You can create in this folder or you can create in any other folder. So it's just for you to know how to arrange your things very easily. So let's go back to the home. And then down here, you have the option to check out the recently used media. All you, what you have uploaded, you'll be able to see them over here. And the videos you've created, you'll be able to see them over here as well. 
what you've created, what you've uploaded, all the media, you'll be able to find them over here. And you can search videos based on the arrangement and you can check out, you can sort by most recent, least recent, A to Z, Z to A, or it's shared with you. You can see if some folders have been shared with you, have been shared with you, you'll be able to have access to them as well. And then over here, you can click to just start your video creation. Then you have the brand kits. Brand kits are also for upgrade. If you want to bring in logos, fonts, or colors, you can easily come over here and just bring in your colors or define your your logos and all that from here. But for now, the most basic thing you need, you can just have it over here. So I think this does it for the first tutorial on how to log in and then the general overview of the platform. I think that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.